All right, let's talk a little bit about candy and chocolate. Uh, let's see. All right, let me show you what, what we have here. I won't read the top. Uh, basically, it gives you a table that has a uh, two shop right here. It's called, the, and they give you the, the amount of candy is in a box, the name of the first shop, and the name of the second shop. So what they ask us, we, in previous example, we saw for 12. Let's see 13. What they ask us is, uh, what is uh, the average price the average price per candy in a box at um, in a box of 20 to the nearest uh, hundredth and um, and then the shop they ask us for is Tamika's shop so they say in Tamika's shop which is this shop right here what is the average price per candy in a box of 20 Jesus Christ I'm, I'm keeping everything all right let's see all right so um, here's critical information, 20, number of candy in a box, number of candy at Tamika's shop. This is all information of, of Tamika's shop, candy, number of candies in a box, and then, uh, and then the price, price is for 20, for a box of 20, we have a price of $3.75. So on average, what they say on average, what is the price of one candy inside that box? Easy, right? So we already have the price, $3.75 for 20. We need the average divided by 20. But they ask us this to the nearest 0 0.01. To the nearest ten thousand. So how would how do we solve this? Three point seven to five. I wish you could see this. Three point seven to five divided by twenty. All right, let me show you this. Um, all right, so we see in a calculator 0 0.1875. But 0.1875 to the nearest ten chart or uh, to the nearest hundred. To the nearest hundred, it's not. We're gonna take that these first two digit, and we're gonna round the, the second one, 8.75, which is equivalent to 0.19. And the answer choice is is B in here. 0.19. You can see it. B. All right. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please share on your page, and you help a lot of kids taking the ACT. And the SAT. Thank you. Bye.